Dwight and Barbara Roberts were married in the Koning Alumni Center on July 31, 1988. Shortly before he passed away in 2002, he gave his wife this cat, Margot, named for his favorite wine. It seemed only fitting that after his death, Barb would find a way to keep his memory alive as well. For my, you know, for my own personal reasons, it's something that, that will keep Dwight, his memory. It wasn't easy. It took her five years before something struck just the right note. For many of my friends, they, every time it has rung this season, they have said, oh, that's for Dwighty, isn't it? While studying geology at CU, he ran on the track team. After graduating in 1957, Dwight continued his service to the university for more than 20 years, serving as the first president of the CU Foundation. But greater than all of this was his love for CU sports. Gosh, we went to so many different things and involved in so many things, I'm not sure I could pick out one. Well, we went to every um, basketball game and football game possible. The Spirit Bell isn't the first of its kind. One used to ring in Mackey Auditorium. But a celebration of a victory over mines in 1926 put a crack in the bell and an end to tradition. Now a bell rings each game day for more than just Dwight's memory. Had it not been that he had been so involved and that really brought me in and um, after his death I thought that's one way I can move on and do something um, related to what he had started. Two and a half hours before every home football game, the Spirit Bell alerts fans it's time to welcome the team into Folsom Stadium. It rings again 10 minutes before one of the nation's most unique pregame rituals. This bell was chosen from over 23,000 on an estate in Evergreen. The reason Barbara Quinlan chose this one? Because it was the biggest. Each game day, Barb listens to the resounding F sharp that the 1,800 pound bell produces. We rang them for tonality. I had looked at another one that was from Mount St. Gertrude, but I didn't feel it was large enough for what I thought would ring out across campus. For Barb, this is the only way she can imagine having the CU spirit Dwight shared with her resonate for years to come.